All right, an unprecedented two-a-days version of drive Through Confessionals. We are still on 9.5, coming back with some more help. This is number 14 on 9.5. It says, show that those three points that I have listed lie on a circle whose center is 2 comma negative 1. Well, this seems like a widma poyable opportunity, opportunity here. So if I just like kind of generally sketch 2 comma negative 1, 7 comma 11, 7 comma negative 13, and 14 comma 4, I'm, I'm basically trying to prove that those three points lie on a circle that's centered at 2 comma negative 1. Well, you kind of kind of think of where a circle came from. In my mind, a circle came from some guy that tied up his donkey, and then he like left it, and then like a couple of weeks later, he came back, and all of this donkey had walked around and killed a bunch of grass, and the guy's like, oh, circle. So that's only going to be a circle if all of those th three things are radii. And they can only be radii if they all have the same distance. So all we're doing is the distance between those, the distance between those, and the distance between those. And if they're all the same distance, then we have proven that all three of those points lie on a circle with this as the center. So uh, we'll just call this D1, D2, and D3. So D1 is the square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared. That's the square root of 144 plus 29, 25, 169, that's 13. So we're looking for all these distances to be 13. D2 is the square root of 5 squared plus negative 13 minus 1 is negative, minus a negative 1 is indeed negative 12 squared. And that's also going to be 13. Because remember, negative 12 squared is positive 144. OK, d3 is the square root of 12 plus 4 minus a negative 1 is 4 plus 1. So it's 12 squared plus 5 squared. And we have just shown, since d1 is equal to d2 is equal to d3, then those three points must lie on some circle whose center is 2 comma negative 1. We're keeping going, and now we're doing number 24. No, 23. Prove that the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equidistant from the three vertices. This screams coordinate proof. Okay. How do we make a right triangle on a coordinate? We use the coordinates. And any time we're doing these, we have to do letters. Now, since I'm a vet and we're dealing with midpoints here, I'm going to call that point 2a, comma 0. And I'm going to call this point 0, comma 2b. OK? Again, I'm a vet. Now, you'll see in just a second why that's a vet move. But it's because I'm a fractionist. I hate fractions. So this stops me from having to use them. Because now the midpoint of 0, comma 2b and 2a, comma 0 is what? What's the midpoint? That is a, comma, b. And that's nice, because now I don't have to deal with fractions. Okay, so what am I trying to prove? I'm trying to prove that the midpoint of this right triangle is equidistant from the vertices. Where are the vertices? Here, here, and here. So I've got to prove that this, that, and that all have the same measure. How am I going to do that? I'm going to do it with distance formula. So let's call this d1, d2 and d3. d1 is equal to the square root of hmm, 
a minus 0 squared plus b minus 2b squared. I'm writing this one out so you kind of understand it a little better. So that's the square root of a squared plus negative b squared. And that's how we have to leave it, the square root of a squared plus b squared. So now we have the length of D1, and we're just simply trying to show that D2 and D3 have the same length. Well, D2 is equal to the square root of, let me look, nice. This is the point 0, 0. So I can go straight to A squared plus B squared. Did you follow that? A minus 0 is A. B minus 0 is B. Got it? So now let's see what D3 ends up being. The square root of 2a minus a squared plus 0 minus b squared. 2a minus a is a. 0 minus b is negative b. But negative b squared is positive. And boom, boom, uh, boom. And now we have just shown that the midpoint of the hypotenuse is equidistant from the vertices. Sweet. Keep working hard. Boom.